So, guys, we're going to roll some smoke before we get into this week's CBDNN. Because I'll be damned, there is some Skinner is this week. The Skinner is rife. Sure. The airwaves have been going thing. crazy. I've Very been busy, busy and I've, my phone doesn't stop. And then you go and you check and there's just traffic. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, gang notifications. Ba bing, ba bing, bing, bing. Because terrible. Canapax has been live this week. This was like the statement that came out from Sapra and the cops, and it was all hashtag aimed at Canapax. Dot Canapax. <laughs> yeah. So basically, the cops say Canapax is illegal. For those of you all don't know, these oaks are like the spa of ganja. Franchises everywhere. Everywhere, selling all kinds of grain from your indoor, which are yeah, slightly overpriced, to your swears and whatever, all, all under the guise of being no, traditional healers. What is this? This oak goes undercover to all the cannabaxes. What do you say? It doesn't burn. Doesn't it's burn. Like as shit. Oh, he uh, says it's uh, cut. That's terrible. Is he like a uh, uh, I mean, now they're saying it's illegal now, but I'm sure this was you know like, that's very, like, very that's that's some kind of weed you smoke when you're like you know like. Starting off, you know. Yeah. Like, start yeah. a kit, start a kit. Exactly, <laughs> yes. Exactly. Better than nothing. So, basically the story is, uh, Canapax has built a name for itself by openly selling weed across the country. Their popular franchises have managed this under the guise of being traditional healers. But the South African Police Service has issued a, st a joint statement advising that these cannabis businesses are illegally selling cannabis. So this was a joint statement with SAPRA, with the South, who are the South African Health Products Regulatory Authority. Uh, and they basically go on to say, uh, some of these illegal businesses purporting to be operating legally in terms of the Traditional Health Practitioners Act are also being sold to members of the public as franchises authorized to deal in cannabis and cannabis-related products. In terms of this act... The, the, the definition of traditional medicine means an object, and it goes on to say that basically the traditional healers, they also, they're really not allowed to deal us, but they should if they want to, but they're not, and there might be an issue. But the cops basically say, Canapax, all these oaks saying they're traditional dealers, and traditional selling dealers. franchises and that, yeah. it's not legit. It's not a license, it's not a license, it's not medicine. No. It's just yeah. because cannabis is still scheduled as a dependence producing drug and traditional healers may not dispense uh, a dependence producing classified drug and it's a UN Substance, classification, yeah. it's not us. So, wait, wait. so you're telling me that I, I, I can't be a song on my end prescribe cannabis Precisely. to people for their problems? They, no. Yeah. So no. that loophole has been closed. That was never really It fun. was never there. It was never there. But you know what it was I find? Never there. Okay. They lied the whole white. time, bro. And it's I find it is so offensive to actual traditional healers to be trying to. It's usually come racist in with and offensive. To I agree, but why didn't they cash in on it? Why didn't they? Bucks why didn't the traditional back. healers council come forward and say this is not true? I know we were because THO, we, were we understand TNHO. that this, this is you know everyone was led to believe and this is what he did. He said that you know I'm a traditional healer. Blah 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 and I give you the opportunity to sell and do your thing. Why didn't the traditional healers council say, come, like, are you, are you you're stepping out of line here? This I think they allowed. did. Um, I think um, Myrtle did speak to people there and they did tell her that even they are not allowed to sell Dachau. Mm. They all say But I mean, they should have come forward in my eyes and said, listen, this man is not official statement. actually <laughs> The traditional to. healers came to Fields of Green Fall and they said, how can Canapax sell Dacha if we can't sell Dacha? And we are real traditional healers from the felt, you know. We were taught by our grandfathers. Yeah, so generations. Are you familiar with the Canapax story, Stan? Yeah, I am a bit familiar about it. Okay, so what did you think when you first yeah, heard about it? Did you go to one of them or...? Well, I haven't been. Like, I've heard okay. about it. Like, I know people that actually have, you know, been oh, okay. to Canapax before. So, that's okay. how I heard about it. And exactly like you described it, it's like, you know, going into a supermarket and all you see are trees, 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 you know, and tree-related products and stuff. But to find out that what they're doing actually is, you know, not, not, not legal, so I'm not even surprised. I guess people got a bit too excited, you know, like once that judgment came about. Mm. And yeah. next thing you know, they're like, oh, okay, fine. Uh, so private property, right? Fine. Uh, mm. My business is a private property. Can't buy weed from me, and now yeah. you see yeah, they overlooked what that judgment said. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, there still is a no dealing judgment. It's still yeah, dealing no is dealing. still very still much illegal. illegal. And yeah, yeah, I think that the media is also to blame. I mean, we saw a headline this week, Joe, that yes. said 
uh, Dacha is now legal in the, the, the what did it go? Oh, God. But no, either way, it said Dacha is legal, and this came from News 24, you know. You it's read just, to them and shouted at them. Yeah, I'm sorry, you know. Yeah. Dacha is not legal. <laughs> <laughs> but it's you read right. them a strongly yeah. worded letter. Dacha will be legal when the law changes. The law has not changed at all. Yeah. There's only been a judgment. That's it's a right to privacy judgment. September it wasn't 18, a 2020. Judgment. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. So do you think? So do you think the hawks are sitting there and they've opened the yellow pages? They've turned to C A N N A P X. I don't know X. There's a big debate about whether it's with the X. <laughs> but do you think they're gonna potentially get nailed now? Do you yeah. think that they're gonna get? Because we know some have been bust. Well, yeah. have they been shut down? When was that? That thing was released on the fourth, right? Yeah. Have no, there been any busts Tuesday. since then? Because I know they've been busts in the past. But we know that there have been busts. There's been loads of busts. Yeah. In general, there have been quite a lot of busts. Yeah. I, we I got don't phone know calls. Kind of specific, but I know that a few of them are changing brands and relieving themselves mm. of that. Yeah, we've had some calls yeah. of, from Canapex owners. <laughs> It's say that they're too scared to open their doors now. They're going to make another plan. Yeah, um, no, they'd rather follow Corbis from One Culture's example and yeah. start their own thing. Well, no. You don't need to have a Canapex brand. You throw your Just do it yourself. Bin, you'll get yeah. better product from private... No, we can't really sales. deal yet. Um, you have to start a private club. But there was someone in the audience saying <laughs> that there was a new one open this week somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Did, you saw it in uh, Maboneng. Yeah. 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 yeah, of what? Of all places. Hey. Hey. Do you know what? Yeah. 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 Oh. Do you know what kills me? It to would be the regenter. Okay, guys, I'm gonna take a breath. I'm gonna no slow my roll because this could go wrong. What I'm about to say, <laughs> I am not qualified to speak about this because I am not one. But as an observer sitting outside of the box watching, it is very offensive for all these little fundamentals and druids. <laughs> to rock up and say, Askis, Askis, I'm a Sangoma, Skilik, I'm a Sangoma. Here's the, the form that they faxed me yesterday that says I'm a Sangoma, so it's 150 rand a gram, please. I think that's fucked up. Mm -hmm. I think it is inappropriate, not just to like appropriate someone's culture, but your only motivation is not for the betterment of that culture, it's to say, to put on, to, do you know what you are? You're a puss. In San Gorma's clothing. <laughs> Man, I have held my opinion for this in so long. Oaks have watched the show. Everyone says, can I pack? So I sit here and I mediate and I say, you know what? I respect the balls. I respect the balls. Do you know what? The Hawks must rock up now. Because you know what? I respect the ball balls. I respect progress for progress sake. But dude, is, no, this, is, this, is, this, is this the cannabis culture we all supported? Not, no. Not like this. this is a not that everybody talks They're about. making the cannabis culture's name puss. Yeah, everyone talks about this unified culture and everyone being, you know, helping each other doing it right. Now there's division, but division cannabis culture should be fighting for legislation. Look, Our eyes should okay. not be on opening a shop. Our eyes yeah. should be on changing the law. Yeah, yeah. exactly. The, yeah, the, fo yeah, the focus should be on creating a lobbying group. To let these, you know, people in parliament actually change the right laws. Because they have like, what, one year left? Yeah. Yeah. Before they have to do yes. something. Yeah. Yeah. Parliament is responsible. They Less need to come forward now. now. Less than a year. Less than we need to move. September. September 18th. So These things moving. We're moving. Guys, fields of green. Stand the man is on point here. There needs to be lobbying. This is something we're going through internally. We've all been so resistant to the man in government. And now we need to sit across the table and stands right. There needs to be lobbyists. Mm. We need to be able to speak to these people. We need to... Because also, they don't understand. And not, not because they're deliberately naive. Mm. It's a whole new world. They We've know. all been obsessed for how long? Mm. About weed? Since Man, we were 12. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Whoa, 12. 12. 12. 12, bro. Are you sure? Are you sure about Late 12? Late bloomer. <laughs> Late bloomer. Yeah. I was 18 when I was there. Basically, <laughs> after my last metric exam, that's the first time I blazed. So. <laughs> okay, late bloomer. That's so okay. Do I, do I count as a late bloomer no, because of that? It's all good. It's all good. Dude, there's no peer pressure. What I found among stoners is we're not like puzza faces. Yeah. Peer I was pressure. 21. 21, dude. 21. Yeah, no, right, right. Yeah, 15. <laughs> 15. Yeah. Ooh, we're there again, right? Those oh, are the oh. teenagers. <laughs> mm. So guys, just in response to the chat, thank you for the support. I'll try not to read too much. We'll go casual. No, I can't fix the DA because I don't know how those are exactly that. <laughs> yeah, those guys, eh? <coughs> so yeah, dudes, Kennepex, Oaks are going live about it at the same time. I see Bobby Greenash, which is also good news that the community's a bit, uh? <coughs> I don't 
cards. Bobby's apparently got to deal with Portugal now. <clears throat> Yeah, something. Oh, you shut up. Got a shut up. Portugal. Portugal. So, license to trade, I suppose, yeah. from their side. Yeah, he wants a private cannabis club in <coughs> South Africa and in Portugal. And I think he says he's just gotten that. That's what he wanted. So basically, he got that. to get the Bobby Green Hash brands international in stores in, yeah. in Portugal. But same weird, though. So, we're going through this thing where we're all going through these growing pains, and it's progress for progress sake. Canapex is still progress. It's part of normalization. Because mm. guys like this exist in reality too. So, maybe we're naive as stoners. It's good that Bobby's got this thing where he's selling to Portugal through Mosaic, whatever. But what it really feels weird like is that effectively, if I sold you a bank, you, you sold me a bank, you know, and he even gave me a lunch bar just to say thank you for it. Cops could arrest us. All these people are dealing to the world, dealing to Canada. We're the world's Dacher dealer at the moment. Yeah. But we can't deal to ourselves. Yeah, it's Parliament's responsibility. It's weird, the man. government should bring out legislation. South Africa, now. man. Because there's going to be another 500 <laughs> canapaxes. It's not the end. Uh, it's not the it's end. It's going to keep on well, happening space until we have another 500 and proper and law. Of all, other the, all the cannabis medicine that's, that we get in this country that we'll be able to use is not going to be from here. And that's the shit thing. Yeah, I know. We need to. That's the worst thing about it. You think we're going to be buying our dank from China in a couple of years? No, not dank. I'm no, I don't. Oh, dank. I would rather buy dank from North Korea than China. Is that some Kim Jong Kush? Yeah, yeah, just some Kim Jong Kush. I bet you that's got a fucking nut. Grow up. Some underground bunker. Aren't they very into weed there in Korea? Like it's not illegal. I don't think so. Like I think it, they can smoke. I think it, they and it to. grows there like a wild bush. Yeah. So, you know, you just pick it off and oh, I wonder if they like all G about it and like I've got, you know, like, like you say, be, all the cushions and the OGs and have their private Instagram like network. <laughs> <laughs> Samsung LEDs. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, uh, that. I bet that oh, that Kim Jong sitting there, they, they're so triggered and sensitive, they spider web internet that we said that and he just got a notification yeah. and he's watching. Yeah. Him and Cyril yeah. together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Oaks are saying, um, like Pierre says, you should be able to sell Canada like tomatoes. So, I agree, like you want to sell it to your neighbor, whatever, you want to sell it at the spa. I feel like the real jam is when we say that there is a place for that. But when it's, a, when it's sold for its intoxicating purposes, I know I've used words here today, like under the influence and that. Mm. But something I'll always stand by is, I do feel like weed is an intoxicant. You know? Mm -hmm. Um, maybe what beer does mentally, we can do physically, but it does alter my state of being. So is caffeine yeah. and sugar. Yeah, so is that something chocolate. that you want to send your lighty to, to the shop, the corner shop for? A loaf of bread, a liter of milk, and a key of weed? No. I think it should be that no, legal I mean, like It should be like the craft cannabis market. Oh, uh, yeah. There's it's space for a craft oh, cannabis yeah. market. And yeah, of course. If you let your light to get the weed from the corner store, it's going to get robbed on the way home and then you're not going to get any weed. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah. You know? And what if he picks the wrong bud? Yo, oh, dude. I'll say, get I'll you the quality you want. No, no he can't buy it because he's not 18. Dude, I'll say, That's I'll say, 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 I'll if it doesn't have THC. This but if it's going to be that to normalized, it's going to be in every single cafe that's yeah. out there. So every shop will have it. So that dude that's in the cafe there out in the middle of Hendrina, out wherever the hell it is. Yeah. Wherever the fuck that is. No, I heard, like, can you guys give me the money and go? No, I heard hemp cigarettes is a thing now. Cigarettes can be bought by like a kid. No, no. Hemp cigarettes is a big thing now. Where can oh, cigarettes really? be hemp bought cigarettes. like a kid? Yeah. Yeah. Buy a kid. Where? Go, go to... Small towns on in Pumalanga. Oh, no, I dude. promise you, you go out there and you a kid can go and buy a loose draw or can buy whatever it is and say, yeah. mm. There's no control at all on that. And the kids at don't all. Turn, into all turn into junkies. Right? Junkies, they're smoking packs a day now. <laughs> but also, it's not like the kid that, like, money is so lean. I grew up as a kid like that, that when your mommy does give you the money to go buy the guai, you must come with the guai. Yeah. They notice when there's a, a thing missing, yeah, so it sort of regulates itself almost it in the community. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it does, yeah. yeah. Uh, guys, interesting times. Please remember voting this week's poll. Do you get high on the way to getting high? Sometimes. <laughs> All the time. 
or Nur Ur. Our guest this week is Stan the Birthday Man. Guys.